Hello you guys, welcome. I am Keelan for the ones that do not know. Welcome, thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for being here and just listening to my testimony and what is going on in this confessional, okay? Y'all, this is not, this this is my day one of fasting, okay? But I did previously, previously start January 1st and I'm going to say that I went about my fasting the wrong way, okay? And that is okay to realize where you messed up and start from the beginning, okay? Um, and I had to realize that, like, Kiara, you got to actually listen to your stuff. And I'm sorry if I'm jumping all over um, in the beginning, but I had to really sit down and understand that I need to listen to myself. I have to really do the things that God is telling me to do. Okay, I was literally ignoring my intuition. And that's something that I wanted to let out for this year of 2024. Also, Happy New Year's, you guys. I hope you guys are starting your New Year's off great. And if not, keep sticking it out, okay? It is only the beginning. And I understand that some people go through different challenges in life. But just know that I am praying for each and every one of you guys. And I hope that you find you find a, a, a place where you can be happy, be joyful, be grateful for where you are, even though it's not where you want it to be. Um, and that's where I had to really understand in my life as well. Like I am going into 2024 in a place where I, you know, I didn't expect to be at. Um, am I upset about it? No. Um, Am I discouraged? No, I had to literally learn to be grateful. There was a time where I was, okay? And I had to let that go because it's like, I don't want to bring that new energy into the space. But let's let's get off of that, top, that topic. Um, I want to talk about my New Year fasting and what I'm letting go, okay? Um, so if you guys don't know what fasting is, it is where you are letting something go for a short period of time to get closer to yourself, get closer to whatever you believe in. For me, that is God, that is universe, that is spirit of truth, okay? Um, those are all the three things that I believe in. And I really wanted to get close to that. And um, and, and it's not an easy process, okay? Because it, it, can, it can get hard, okay? And for me, it definitely got, it, at least I thought I was doing what I was supposed to do. And no, let me let me say this. I was fasting in a way that I felt like I should have done it instead of listening to what God wanted me to fast, okay? Because sometimes we fast in things that we really don't even need to fast, okay? And sometimes you really have to sit and, and, and wonder, what is stopping me from growing? What is stopping me from my blessing? What is stopping me from my purpose, okay? And for me, that was distractions, um, I had to limit my distractions. So I have released all my social media um, handles. Not release it, but I'm just putting a break on it, putting a pause on it for at least like a month to really work on my craft and my purpose and straightening myself in that, okay? Um, and, and the beginning of the year, I was not doing that. And that's okay to realize where you messed up. And I was like, okay, God, I hear you. I realize what you need me to do now. And this is my first day of actually doing it now. I have not been on any social media except for YouTube. I'm, I really want to be on YouTube because I really want to communicate with you guys on this journey. Because it's like, even though I'm sitting in this process, I still want, uh, even if there's other people that's doing this fasting and, and it's a little bit hard for you guys. I want you to guys, I want you to know that you're not the only one, okay? Because your girl been going through it. I be wanting to scroll through a reel or a scroll on a TikTok, okay? And me, I like to post my content. And I feel like when I'm not posting my content, that people are not going to see me. And I had to release that. Distractions. Trying to 
trying to be seen by others instead of being seen by myself and by God. And I had to realize that like, it's not the time to show myself right now, okay? It's the time to grow. In the first month, it's the, t it's the time to grow. And I had to realize that. And I thought I was doing the right thing by, um, I guess I, this is what, this is what I thought God wanted me to do. Um, I was just going to post on, on like, you know, on my, um, on my social media, just a few reels and, and TikTok videos. And then I would just get off. Okay. But that was not the case. It was still so tempting to me to actually be on there and scrolling and watching other people, comparing myself to other people and and what I need to do to get likes and what I need to do to be viewed. And that was my biggest distraction was looking at what others are doing and how, how can I do that? How can I get to that, that place? And it's like, I had to release that. I had to release trying to figure out what what is my steps to get to that place and really my step was to let it go okay sometimes we have to let it go to actually get to that place and i had to realize that and i mean it is still january and look i apologize to say god universe i know um i kind of did my own thing in the beginning of my fasting i apologize and this is the time where I am starting over. I am starting new. I am actually going to listen. And that's all fasting is, is to listen to what God is saying. And it it, it could be it could be a challenge because sometimes we may not even want to listen. You know, we want to do things our own way to get to the place that we need to be. But if you know that you could to, if you could release those things and stop doing those things for a short period of time and God will bless you with those things that you want in the near future, just by doing that one little fast, would you? And I had to actually think just because I'm not on social media, um, for a month, I'm worrying about people not, not seeing me, but it's like, I had to realize that, um, I don't need to be seen by nobody else. And that is okay. This is really the time for me to figure out myself and to learn what I want to do with my gifts, what I want to do with my talent. Um, and it, like I said, it's not easy. And a part of me already knew what my gifts were. It's just now it's a time to straighten it. And then during this break, you can go back to that social media better than ever. Okay. And I had to realize that it's only temporary, okay? It's not forever. It's only temporary. And am I willing to do that temporary? Yes, I am. And I am grateful to understand now rather than later, okay? Because I feel like I feel like I just was being stubborn. I really wanted to do everything on my own. It was just like I got it. I know what to do. And it's like do you really know what to do? And 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 sometimes it's hard to release control, okay? Like, we always want to be in control. And me as a mother, I feel like um, I got to I gotta be in control all the time. And me, not even just as a mother, as a person in general, I, I just felt like I, I need to always be in control. And this just literally brings it back to what somebody literally just told me, like, go sit down. Like, I got it. Why are you always just trying to do something? I had to think like, okay, Kiara, sit down and listen, like listen to what this person is saying. Okay. And I'm over here being stubborn, trying to do it myself. Okay. And it's just like, you got to stop. And, and maybe some of y'all is going through the same thing of trying to re release control, but it's so hard. It's literally hard. And especially when, when most of the things that you really want to tap into is something dealing with your career, your relationship, or just, um, just anything that's going to benefit you. At least that's what we think, you know? And I had to realize like, 
that is not the case at all. Like, at all. Nobody is in control but God. Okay? I don't control anything. I am over here thinking I am in control when I'm really not. And I had to I had to realize that. Like, you're not in control. And, and I just had to sit back and listen. And like I said, for anybody who's going through that, I know that it's hard to release control and just to just be willing to just sit there and wait. <laughs> and not even not even wait, but actually in that process, learn yourself, grow, um, be the person that you said that you wanted to be a long time ago in that process. And it's like we we want to do things our own way on our own time when it's convenient for us and it's like we can't do it and and sometimes god will literally take control and he will take something away he will put a pause on something to get us to actually just sit down and just be like okay you know and to be honest, I'm not trying to get to that space no more. I don't, like, God, I know that you have control now. I don't want to get to the space where you are literally going to force me to release control, okay? I don't, like, why somebody got to force us to do something? Like, why can't we just listen and be still in that process? Be happy in that process. Because sometimes... We we release control and we mad. We mad. We don't we don't we don't know what to do. We frustrated because now we over here like now what what now I'm here now what? <laughs> and it's like you can't you can't do that. And I I have understand that. And this fasting this is only the first day okay. And like I said, um, of course the first day is always the easiest you know. Um, have I been tempted to go on social media? Yes, I have. Um, but like I said, I, I deleted it. I'm not going to download it until my month is up. And I don't know, maybe the fasting might go longer than a month. It depends on what God is going to tell me. Cause maybe God says, you think it's only just for a month, but maybe it's just for a week. Maybe it's just for two weeks. Maybe it's for two months, you know? And all it is is really just about listening, and I I I'm gonna just be honest. Some of us we can't listen. We don't know how to listen. We don't know how to actually just sit there and hear what somebody is saying. And especially we we we're ignoring our sorry we're ignoring our intuition. We are ignoring what God is saying. Those thoughts that's in our head that is God speaking to us. Okay, when He's like Kira. Uh, whoever, whatever your name is, such and such, you know you shouldn't be doing that. Like, you know you should be doing this. You know you need to reach out to this person. You know you need to take a break. Just certain things like that. When you ignore those thoughts, you are ignoring God. You, you're, you're ignoring what universe wants you to do. And when you ignore yourself like that, it's like, and you and you constantly keep ignoring it. What do you expect to happen? Okay, in that process, like you're not gonna grow when you're ignoring the steps that you need to take. And I had to realize that, and I have come to the understanding of that. And for me, right now, y'all see, I got this mic. This is my first time. I'm gonna I'm gonna start podcasting. Okay, and. This is something that I have been wanting to do. There's many other things that I'm about to do as well. Um, but, you know, that's all. It's all going to be coming soon. But in the meantime, I'm just going to straighten my gift in the process. The gifts that God have gave me and um, he placed into my life to present to people, um, to to be a a guidance for some people because some people not going to hear this and some people will and it might resonate with people and and for the ones that is do that it do 
I am just happy that, you know, that you hear and that you understand. But some people, it, it may not resonate. And I have to understand. And I think that was one of my biggest um, things about starting a podcast. What if I talk and nobody understands me? Or what if I talk and nobody listens? Who cares? Those, the people that do not listen, they are ignoring it's what we just talked about. We can't we can't stop what we're doing because other people are ignoring certain things. Okay? We we're not gonna stop what we're doing just because we feel like uh we're not at the level to do that. No. We just do it. Just try. And that is what God has been telling me. To just try. Just do it. Why not? What's it going to hurt? To actually just sit there and just do what you're supposed to do. Okay? Not what you want to do, but what, you, what you're what supposed to do in order to be the person that you know that you can be. And I know that I am destined for a lot. Okay? I know that God didn't give me these gifts to hide in. God didn't give me this voice so people not going to hear it. Talk. Do. Be. Live. <laughs> like, we, it, 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 it goes really deep, you guys. And I could just keep talking about it and talking about it. And it, 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 it literally just goes deep. And until you really actually understand what it is that you're supposed to be doing in life, that's when it just be like, I get it now. This is what I was supposed to be doing my whole life. Why haven't I done that? And like I said, not everybody is at that place to realize that, but for the ones that that are at that place and, and understand or, or can understand God and they hear God speaking to them, this message is for you. Even for the ones that are not at that place, this message is still for you. When you when you do get to that place, be be willing to just be okay. Be still. Be willing, okay. And that's where I'm at right now within my fast. I am being willing to just be me. To grow as a person. To be the person that I, I I know is inside of me. And to showcase it to everybody. And this is just a quick little a little discussion. I'm probably just talking. And yeah. I just, I just hope you guys understand. And I'm thankful for you guys to be here with me. Listening to this message. Um, I, I thank you guys for clicking on. Um, for sitting here watching this video with me. Um, don't forget to, you know, add this to your, uh, subscription if you are on YouTube. I just want to just thank you guys for just being here, um, with me. And yes, I'm just, I'm just grateful. Y'all probably can hear my kids in the background. Oh, well, <laughs> just, just, y'all just have fun with life. Okay. I feel like. Everything has just been so serious for me and probably for y'all as well. We got to let it go. We got to stop trying to follow what everybody else is doing. And I'm speaking from my experience because like, you know, and I feel like content creating is like a part of what I want to do. But I want to put what I want to put out on content creating, not what I see other people putting out, you know. Um, so I have to realize what, what, what is my brand? What, who am I? What do I want to showcase to people? Um, so yeah, within this phase, I am just, I'm just, you know, showcasing who I am. Um, uh, should I tell y'all a little bit about me? <laughs> yeah, I'm just telling y'all a little, about, a little bit about me. I should have told y'all about me from the beginning for the ones that do not know. Um, my name, my original name, my original name, my real name is Kiara Linscombe, but I want you guys to call me Keelan because I feel like it's just shorter for anybody. But if you call me Kiara, 
I'm still going to answer because that is my name. I am 29 years old, going on 30 this year. Girl, about to be in the 30s, okay? And I'm excited for my 30s. For the ones that's turning 30 and are in your 30s, woo, woo, okay? We, we, we are growing. This 30, I am growing, okay? And what else about me? I'm from New Orleans, if y'all can't tell by my accent. Um, I am a mother of three children. Um... Yeah, that's just the basics about me. I am a Leo. Um, I will get into the big three. <laughs> but I'm not going to do all of that right now. We probably might save those discussions for another time, okay? Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, that's really it. Like, I want, I don't even want to tell y'all too much. I want y'all to really get to know me in this process as I'm talking to y'all each and every day. Um, within this this 21 days or even a month like i don't know what whatever god tells me i'm not even gonna say when my fa how long my fasting is because god didn't tell me when he want me to start so i'm just going to continue to say during this fast um i want you guys to just to to continue listening to me to continue learning and growing with me and realizing who i am as a person and I want y'all to, you know, engage in conversations with me. You know, don't be shy. Because um, I, I used to say that I was this and I was that. I'm releasing that, okay? I'm not shy. I'm not, I'm, I don't have social anxiety. Um, uh, I'm just, I'm an observant person. So I just sit there and I'm, I am quiet. But when y'all get me to start talking, your girl can't stop, okay? And, <laughs> um, yeah, it's just. I'm going to have fun within the, in this podcasting space, within my confessionals. Like, I think I'm going to start doing YouTube confessionals. Um, so, this is a fasting confessional. And, yeah, um, this, like I said, this is my day one. Um, I'm releasing distractions. Um, I'm going to start reading more. I'm going to start um, working out, taking care of my health, doing more self-care days. Um uh, spending time with my children, bonding with my children, teaching my children. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's working on my craft, um, doing the things that God is telling me to do. Okay. And you never know, God might put a, put another task for me to do within this fast. We don't know. And yeah, it's just, we're going to have fun and I hope you guys, um, enjoy this first segment of my podcast. Um, the first, my first segment of my professionals. Um, I don't know what to call this podcast, y'all. Um, like I said, I'm probably, I don't know if I'm, I'm just, you know, recording like this because I want to get the feel of, you know, the, in the, the, the environment. I, I don't know. This is, like I said, this is something new for me and I'm just going to enjoy it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for day two of my fasting confessional. Um, I'm thinking about limiting uh, something else because God just told me something. And yeah, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy. Um, thank you for listening. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And for the ones who want to start a fast, you know, let's be fasting buddies. Let's be... Um, we should call it accountability partners, you know, actually, you know, help each other out in this process because fasting is not easy at all. Like it's hard to, to, um, let go of something that you have been doing for so long, you know, and to actually listen and sit there and not do what you are, you feel like you, you should be doing. It's hard. Um, and like I said, I'm just going to have fun in this space. I'm going to enjoy this time of uh of stillness um and yeah i hope you guys enjoy thank you for listening to me and i will see you guys tomorrow okay bye